Today is February 28, 2018, and this is your daily vlog number uh, 48. Uh, today I just want to go over just what has happened in the last 24 hours. And PT Magic has froze. So if you look here at the time, um, it's completely frozen and it didn't change any of my markets. Also, PT's acting like having a really hard time of just saving settings. I'm not sure what's going on. But I'm going to go ahead and close everything out right now, and I'm just going to restart my systems, okay? So let me go ahead and start PT Magic. Start PT Magic, and then I'm going to go ahead and start Profit Trailer. So it looks like it's working fine. I guess it just froze up. Even PT, uh, uh, even Profit Trailer was freezing up. Now, if I'm sort of scared of what I'm going to see in a bit, but I think I'm pretty negative right now. I, I think a lot of people are negative right now. And it's just weird because on the pumps, as well as the dips of BTC, Bitcoin is taking more market share as time goes on. So let me just go ahead and explain the situation for everybody right now. This has been overdue, and a lot of people have been calling this where Bitcoin's dominance needs to come back, right? So if we go to the global market trend, so let's come on, computer. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this right here. It's this is BTC's dominance. Look how much it dropped. Okay, look at this drop of BTC dominance. All coins are taking a thrashing right now. Look, look at the uh, the rise of all coins. Uh, the gray graph is the all coin. So we have to make sure we protect ourselves right now. Um, I feel like this is going to just keep going. Okay, um, it's going to keep going, and Bitcoin is going to have a lot more dominance like it did before, before we see another altcoin pump. So even on BTC downswings and upswings, altcoins are taking a pretty fat hit, all right? Uh, let's just look at uh, coin market cap, and if we look at the last 24 hours, there's nothing that's green, all right? Everything's red. Uh, let's, let's pair this with BTC and see how our bot would have done. Uh, not too bad, but still, majority of our coins what is that maybe 20 or so a little bit more than yeah, a little bit past 20 but majority of our coins are red okay so the bot would have had a hard time trying to come out of these bags if it did buy a pair etc etc okay let's look at pt magic right now set to default settings good um some things did happen i mean it, my settings just got really messed up as you can see here uh it's not able to trend any information right now and everything is sort of flatlined to zero 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 okay um and now it's trying to collect the data that it's needing so it's going and getting the data uh from binance uh let's take a look at what's happened to pt magic and in pt magic everything looks okay i got i got some in dca so um yeah this just recently dca again uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, obviously, these are pretty bad bags. Uh, ZRX, and then let me look into the pairs. Nothing in the pair. So at least in a way, PT Magic has prevented my bot from buying more during this time. And there could have been a possibility that, yeah, I would have got out of that sale. But right now, like I said, to um, what I'm trying to do with my bot is to just to limit the scope, limit the buys, and this is the worst time possible i mean you guys just i got i just showed you btc dominance is coming back guys all right so you got to protect yourself on both buys when btc goes up and when btc goes down and people have been predicting this for a very long time and it's, it's happening okay and i don't know how long this is going to last but we sh we need to protect ourselves in some way fashion or form and hopefully pt magic could do that for us um last but not least i just today is February 28th. So my AWS building cycle is over, all right? So I just wanted to show you guys how much I owe to Amazon Web Services for my my bot that I have created, okay? So I've been charged $3.70 for the month, okay? And that's including playing around with the instance, buying a whole bunch of crap and not even utilizing it. So uh, I bought a Route 53, so that's minus 50 cents, okay? So I don't have the Route 53 anymore, so it's minus 50 cents. Um, let me look at some additional charges I racked up. This one here, I believe it's for, I created a small instance, a uh, tier small, which costed me $1.18. So that's unfortunate. So $1.18 for an instance that I created that I probably didn't even use that much. Um, 
It could be also a charge associated with a free tier instance that was turned off. I'm not 100% sure. I tried to look for this detail, but uh, from what it looks like, it was charged from a small instance that I created, which wasn't free tier. So that's why I got another dollar eighteen cents in charges. The CPU credits, I'm perfectly fine with. Uh, 14 cents in extra CPU credits, which means uh, if you notice, when I was on my tier uh, tier 2 micro instance, there was no lag whatsoever, right? I was going and clicking everywhere. and it, Well, there's maybe a little bit of lag, but it's very usable. The reason why is I have it so it's unlimited in CPU power. So meaning if the computer needs more CPU power, it will give it that CPU power for that moment specifically. And that's why I racked up 14 cents. Now the data charges should be correct. Okay, let me go ahead and take a, take a look at the data charges. Um, that's elastic, and then the data charges I am charged so far. I should be charged at this here. Da, 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 da. I am charged roughly about a dollar forty seven. Okay, so that's an accurate charge. So if I go take a look at my notepad, um, so in the three dollars and seventy cents, right? Three seventy. I'm going to subtract a dollar eighteen. I'm going to subtract 50 cents, so what is that? $1.68. And then there's another charge in here that uh, I shouldn't got hit with. Um, that is the Elastic IPs. So I got charged with 34 cents that I shouldn't have got charged with. Right? So another 34 cents. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Actually, everything in here is actually except the CPU credits. So another 34 cents. And it may be plus one. So 34 cents. I know we're talking in cents, guys, right? So 34, what is that? Uh, 202, 202, right? 202, and then we have one cent. So 203, total subtraction from this value here. So when we look at that, I is that right? So I am charged, I should be charged $1.67 per month because I am overcharged $2.03. Yeah. That's actually pretty crazy because I got charged this dollar eighteen, which is huge, right? Um, and then I got charged, yeah, a whole bunch of random stuff. That uh, the fifty cents for sure. So that's dollar sixty eight. Yeah, the math is good. So my free tier instance in AWS, including data charges, equals about a dollar sixty seven. Now, if, um, just don't make any mistakes. I did. don't create Elastic IP address. Don't create a route fifty three. I wanted to have a easy URL so I could access my bot, but. Uh, I could live without it, right? So a dollar sixty-seven should be your monthly charges. Now we'll see next month when I'll go ahead and reevaluate for you guys. But a dollar sixty-seven is what I have for now. Well, thanks for watching this video. I know it's just a quick update video, but just something I wanted to get um, out to you guys. All right, thank you. Bye bye.